This is a very brief video showcasing a Lenovo ThinkPad L450 laptop. Um, this thing has been refurbished and upgraded by me. Uh, specifically, I did just install that 3-point touchpad and it works very nice and has a great feel as opposed to the previous uh, clunk pad that was installed. So, uh, onto the hardware, we have an Intel Core i5-4300U CPU at 1.90 GHz, 2 core, 4 thread, and 12 GB of DDR3 1600 MHz RAM, a Toshiba 256 GB solid state drive as a Windows 10 boot drive, and it has Intel HD 5500 graphics. Uh, so as for standard performance, this does work quite well. It's uh, fast and snappy with a fresh Windows 10 install. Um, this SSD has SATA 3 speeds. I should mention that there is also a WWAN port, which also acts as a M.2 SATA 3 SSD port. So you can have two drives in this thing if you so desire. Um, yeah, uh, the regular chiclet style keyboard with the red characteristic track point. On this I.O. side we have a SIM card slot, 2x USB 3.0, a mini display port with audio, VGA port, and RJ45 Ethernet port. On to the other side we have the power jack, USB 3.0, and audio combo jack. And on the front, I didn't show it, but there is also an SD card reader. So this uh, laptop would do quite well for standard office work, uh, Office 365 and beyond. Um, it would run things like the editing, video editing software that I'm using right now, uh, Movavi Video Suite. Uh, probably do some live photo editing too. There's the 720p webcam. And so, of course, I had to test out how it games. And first I tried out Tomb Raider 2012, and it's totally playable on this system. As I suspected, because I did originally play this game, I think, with a HP model with similar specs uh, back in like 2013 or 2014. And if I kept it windowed, actually, to see if it would increase performance, but uh, you can also play it full screen with... Uh, Average of 30 frames per second on lower graphic settings. And Left 4 Dead 2 runs really well, uh, averaging 60 to 80 plus frames per second on high graphic settings. You can have a lot of fun playing this game with friends still or solo, and it looks great, uh, responds really well in the system. So, hopefully, this brief look lets you know if you want to use an L450 in 2022. So, thanks for watching.